Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing Target. So Target was a was a beautiful gap. For some reason, it took forever and ever and ever to break and go. I don't know why. Sometimes this is the case. Maybe it was because it was such a strong chart. It obviously is. It's still in a bullish uptrend, whatever. But we shorted this, okay? So I called a put in this on the day of the earnings. It was the 17th. I called the 255 puts. Again, it just really wasn't up enough in order for me to get out. It fell off a planet here today. This was a really nice move. Again, low was 241.20. Once you were watching, if you saw what the market was doing today, if you saw this was breaking today, if you were watching your trade, if you were in this today, today was the day to get out. This is up thing moves more than $10 to the strike, almost $15 to the strike. You got to get out. Again, options, the way that I do them is trading momentum. One, I'm trading the gap. And two, I'm trading momentum in the gap. I want the momentum to come in. What was strange about this target is that the momentum took days and days and days to come in. That's fine. I luckily did not call it with an expiration date from last week. I called it with an expiration date of the 26th. So it all worked out. But the interesting thing is that sometimes, you know, I know that people get frustrated and they want everything to go immediately. I want everything to go immediately. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way. I don't give up on trades. There was really nothing wrong with this here. Nothing wrong with this here. Nothing wrong with this at all. But here's where it broke. Again, today is Monday. I called it last week on Wednesday. That was very difficult to do as a day trade, though. Again, it just, some trades are easier than others. But I had the right call. I had the direction right. It was right every day since I called it. Just took a while to break. But remember, if you decide you want to come and trade with me, what are you going to learn? You're gonna learn how to rate the gap. You're gonna learn what direction to, to take it. And most importantly, you're gonna learn how to read momentum right. So what happened in Target? What came into this selling? Selling pressure came on it and it fell off a planet. Again, we didn't do this today. We were already in it. It makes it so much more easier. So, 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 so much more easier. If you are already in a train that has a big move, you're already in it. You have to scramble, oh, quickly take it. Or you miss it because you're doing something else. We were already in this trade. We were in it for days. So it was a really nice call. It was a really nice move. So look here at the market. This could still be lower, but again, short week, holiday week. You know, volume's gonna dry up at some point this week. We've really reversed today. Look at that. Eeks. So I do not know where we go from here. Again, short week for this market. Very short week. So <clears throat> I'm not even going to think about what I think of this market until I get up tomorrow morning and look at the gap. But just reviewing back here, Target, very nice move. You know, could you theoretically have gotten out of it before today? Sure. <clears throat> Would you? Where was the money though? Today. Money was today. Profit was today. Big money was today. Okay. So you, when you when you take a trade, you want to get momentum. Again, the momentum could be up, the momentum could be down. One of the reasons I like to short, I'm just showing you this 15 minute here before I go. This 15 minute is so beautiful here because here's the selling. Here's all the selling. So again, you know, this is the momentum. This is the momentum. This is what you want to play. You know, and and we were ready in it, so it was a nice call. So we'll see where this goes. We'll see where the market goes. We'll see where everything goes tomorrow, and then please be careful if you trade the rest of the week. I really would just take off. It's going to be you know a slow week for the market, and uh, if you're interested in joining for the last class of 2021 and learning how I rate gaps like Target, how I make the picks like Target, how did I know this would go, or signing up for the options letter, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. I'm running some Black Friday sales through Sunday only, the 28th. Email me or call me with questions. Have a great night, everyone.